When you think of a volcanic eruption, you probably imagine chaos, fiery lava, choking ash, and devastating destruction. But what if I told you that these violent explosions can actually protect our planet's atmosphere? From blocking harmful sunlight to cooling Earth's climate, volcanic ash clouds are one of nature's most unexpected shields. Today, we'll uncover how these colossal eruptions can save our atmosphere, and even reshape the history of civilization. When a volcano erupts, it's not just lava that comes out. Explosive eruptions send towering clouds of ash, dust, and gases, especially sulfur dioxide, high into the atmosphere. These particles can rise into the stratosphere, more than 10 miles above Earth's surface, where they spread across the globe. Once there, they act like tiny mirrors, reflecting incoming sunlight back into space. The eruption's force can propel this mixture miles high, sometimes breaching the troposphere and entering the calm, dry stratosphere. Here, volcanic material escapes the reach of rain and weather, lingering for months or even years. High-altitude winds spread the plume around the globe, forming a thin, nearly invisible veil. Heavier ash falls out quickly, but fine dust and sulfur dioxide remain suspended, encircling the planet. This persistent layer of aerosols sets the stage for a remarkable phenomenon. It's not just a local event. This is how a single eruption can influence the entire world. The story of volcanic cooling begins high above, where ash and gas become climate-altering agents. The sky becomes a canvas for the volcano's far-reaching impact. The next chapter, how this veil changes the sun's touch on Earth. Once volcanic materials reach the stratosphere, they interact with the sun in a dramatic way. Sulfur dioxide reacts with water vapor, forming tiny sulfate aerosols, nature's own sunshades. These droplets scatter and reflect sunlight, sending some of it back into space before it can warm the surface. The result, a subtle planet-wide haze that cools the Earth. A single powerful eruption can lower global temperatures by half a degree Celsius for years. This natural cooling is a striking example of Earth's feedback systems at work. The atmosphere's composition is sensitive. Even a small amount of volcanic material can tip the balance. Volcanic eruptions remind us how interconnected and delicate our climate truly is. The planet's own mirror, forged in fire, offers a brief respite from the sun. History proves the power of volcanic cooling. The 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo sent a massive cloud into the stratosphere, lowering global temperatures by about half a degree Celsius. Scientists tracked the aerosol veil as it circled the globe, confirming the theory with real-world data go back further to 1815. Mount Tambora's eruption triggered the year without a summer, causing crop failures and famine across continents. People then didn't know a distant volcano was to blame for their cold, dark year. These events are more than stories. They're crucial data for understanding climate sensitivity. By studying them, we refine our models and predictions for future changes. Volcanoes show us that a single eruption can ripple across the world, altering seasons and shaping history. The global cooling from volcanic eruptions comes at a steep price. While the stratosphere gains a protective veil, the ground below suffers devastation. Pyroclastic flows, ashfall, and ruined landscapes. Ash contaminates water, disrupts air travel, and causes respiratory problems. The economic and social toll can last for years, even as the world cools. This is nature's paradox. What benefits the planet's climate can devastate local communities. The same event that shields the globe brings ruin to those nearby. It's a stark reminder that Earth's systems operate on many scales, with winners and losers. There are no simple solutions. Every action has complex consequences. The cooling comes at a cost, 
a trade-off made by nature, indifferent to human needs. Volcanoes embody the double-edged sword of planetary power. The cooling power of volcanoes has inspired a bold idea, geoengineering. If nature can cool the planet with aerosols, could we do the same, on purpose? The proposal injects sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere, creating a man-made sunshade. Aircraft could deliver the gas, forming sulfate aerosols to reflect sunlight and slow warming. But this experiment carries huge risks and unknowns. Could it disrupt weather, trigger droughts, or harm agriculture as past eruptions have? Geoengineering would only mask the problem, not solve the root cause, greenhouse gases. If stopped suddenly, temperatures could rebound dangerously. The volcano's lesson is clear. Tampering with Earth's systems is fraught with peril. Volcanic aerosols do more than cool the planet. They transform the sky and atmosphere. Sunsets become vivid, painted in reds and purples, as particles scatter sunlight. But beauty comes with a cost. Aerosols can damage the ozone layer, our shield against harmful UV rays. After Pinatubo, scientists saw temporary ozone depletion and increased UV at the surface. Volcanic cooling can also disrupt rainfall, weakening monsoons and reducing global precipitation. These changes ripple through agriculture and water supplies, affecting millions. The atmosphere is a finely tuned system. Even beneficial changes can have unintended side effects. Brilliant sunsets remind us of the particles above but ozone loss and shifting rains are warnings. Every intervention, natural or artificial, has a cascade of consequences. The sky's transformation is both a marvel and a caution. Volcanoes remind us that Earth is dynamic and unpredictable. We can't control or fully predict their eruptions, only study and learn from them. Past eruptions, recorded in ice cores and history books, reveal the climate's sensitivity to change. This knowledge helps us build better climate models and understand our own impact. After devastation, life returns, pioneer plants break through ash, and new ecosystems emerge. Volcanic soils can become more fertile than before, showing nature's resilience. Volcanoes teach us about destruction and renewal, and the interconnectedness of geology, climate, and life. A single eruption can ripple across the globe, linking distant places and times. By studying volcanoes, we glimpse both the planet's past and its possible futures. Their lesson, complexity, connection, and the power of natural cycles. Volcanoes are both destroyers and protectors symbols of Earth's untamed spirit. Locally, they bring peril. Globally, they help regulate climate and enrich soils. This duality is at the heart of our planet's complexity. Destruction and creation, harm and benefit, are often intertwined. As we face climate challenges, volcanoes remind us of the power and risks of atmospheric change. They warn against hubris, any attempt to alter one part of the system affects the whole. By observing volcanoes, we learn about the balance that sustains life. Their eruptions connect the planet's fiery core to its highest skies. In their story, we find a lesson in humility, respect, and the enduring harmony of nature. Volcanoes teach us that even overwhelming power can serve a hidden balance, defining the story of life on Earth.